Hey guys, um, it's Random GD Guy here, and I'm back with another tutorial. It's been a while since I've made one, and basically the reason why I haven't really been making much for a while is because my old headset broke, but I got a new one now, and I would like to make more tutorials. So basically, what I'm going to show you is a tutorial on how to make an effect I'm calling the reveal effect. Now, I've had a few of my friends tell me that they wanted me to make a tutorial on how I made the little title effect in my newest level cosmos that I'm working on. And I'm basically just going to call it the reveal effect because it's kind of like that. So to make this effect is actually really simple. And if any of y'all seen Echo Nox's tutorial on his appearing blocks tutorial, it's kind of something like that, but a little bit more complicated. So basically what you want to do is get everything set up like this, you know, put down your portals and stuff. And basically what you want to do first is make sure to choose the blank background. And next up, we'll just make the ground black and no line. And then we have everything set up right here. So as you see, so next up, what you'll want to do is I'm just going to make the background black, but it can really be any color, but black usually looks the best. So next thing you'll want to do is start by thinking of what shape you want the reveal to be, you know, a square or a diamond. Those are the only two I know how to make. So for this tutorial, I'll choose the diamond, which is similar to how my title screen reveals. So what you'll want to do is start off by making something like this, kind of like an arrow like that. And then you'll fill it up with all the other little squares, you know, like this. So basically what we're doing is we're going to make one half of the effect like this. And like that. And here we go. So basically once when you have this filled, we're just going to fill up the back. So nothing really gets shown and one of the most important things about this is layers so you may think this is all going to be like in the farthest back but in reality this is actually going to be somewhere like around this layer b1 right here and make sure you check don't fade and don't enter because you don't want it to be fading away or else it gives away everything also the color i'm not sure about changing the color but for like tutorial sake we're gonna keep this white so then what you're gonna do next is start copying it like this just like a few blocks over like that and then make sure you put this in a group you know we'll put it in group one and then we're gonna move this over to right about here or actually no we're gonna move it about right here and I'll just add in a few extra more blocks right here. Next up, what you'll do next is copy this. And then we're going to do something like this. We're going to flip it over and line it up to about right here. Should be good. Then we'll move it to a new layer. And there's that done. So now what I'll do is I'll just move this back about right here so now we have one part of the effect done so what we'll do next is we're gonna make the second layer of this because there are two layers as you see you have it white and then you'll have it revealing the stuff which i'll show you how to make all that a little bit later on so basically one thing you could do is just take both of these well just take one of these so i'll take this one and you'll move it up to the next free layer and move the Z order up one and then you'll do the same for the other one 
And then for these colors, now this is important, these have to be the color of the background. So since I chose black, I'll just simply make them black. So now as you see, so as you see, these are up on layer two. And hmm. all right. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. So, as you see, you can't see anything right now. All right. So next up, we'll make the effect of it like growing the diamond which you know should be pretty simple we'll put each of these up in another new group so that'll be group two this will be group three this will be group four and this will be group this right here will be group five so now we'll just have to put down first off the lock to player x which i believe right here it should be centered but we might have to move this a little bit later on and we'll just set the move time to be whatever and then now for color two group two which is this we'll make a move x forward about 200 should be good and one second and the easing will make will make it be my usual, I believe. Sign out it should look good. And then as for three, we'll make this move x back to negative two hundred, and then we'll basically copy these and move this up to four, and then five. Now, if you remember, groups four and five were the black ones on top. So a common mistake that I make and some people might make is they'll make two and three move first and it won't really look like much happened it won't really look like anything happened so make sure the group four and five or whichever ones are the color the background move first and we'll basically move this over one i believe that should be fine and if we go to take a look at what we have there you go so now as you saw the diamond appeared but now we have nothing there so Next thing we could do is try to build a background on top of it and the reason why I choose a space background or they choose a space background is because of blending and as anyone knows if you put anything blending on top of white it looks like nothing really happened you know it just looked like the thing appeared so I guess one thing we could do is just build a simple space background so I guess what I'll do is I'll just choose this right here and we'll put that down and this is just a scaled object that I have that I use for my space backgrounds and this is in a free layer we'll make this be purple like that with the occupacity down to about I believe 80 should be fine and we'll put this in the locked player x in there and then we'll just make a simple space background that i usually make like that and oh, i need to make this a little bit more darker so i guess we'll just turn this down to about right there that should be fine and we'll just bring the opacity down to about, the opacity down to about 60, make it a little brighter. There we go. So then we'll just add in some stars like this. And oops, like that. And we'll put these also in a new group. and like that here we go this is probably not going to look really good but this is just like an example background you can 
I'm not sure if this will work on any background, but I know it works on space background as well, so that's why we're just gonna make a simple little space background. Is there stars? And here we go. All right. So now we'll just put in the move commands for groups six and seven, which will be right here, which we'll just have a move X back about negative 200 should look good. And here we go, we'll just move these over to the right here. And we'll just move everything forward a bit. Now one more thing, remember I told you layering is important. So for these, we'll have to put these, as you see they're behind. We'll put these on top layer. And we'll make the player invisible because, you know, and then if you go to take a look, as you see, the effect happened right on top of this. And I guess we'll move the effect over, we'll move it forward a bit. And just because we'll make the stars look a little better. Like that. So now if you take a look, it looks like it just happened right there. Now comes having the stuff appear. Now it'll be really simple. So remember we put those all up on B1. So what we'll do is we'll grab out some text and put this on a new layer. Also I'll make this a little darker. So now what we'll do is we'll grab out some text. And I'm pretty sure this could work with anything but text because it kind of looks like something from PowerPoint. So we'll put down, let's just put down some text saying like hi or maybe my, or maybe your name. So I'll just put down my GD name. Uh, and we'll do this. Put it on here. And here we go. Put it down, lock it, something like that. And here we go. So we'll put this on the bottom most layer and we'll make it also blank. So now, if we were to take a look, there you go. It looks like it disappeared out of there. So, yeah. Uh, let's just go to see how it looks in normal mode. So we gotta make sure to do all that. And let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to turn off the background effect, but yeah, there you go. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.